our next fish can be found fluttering around, <clears throat> I mean swimming around the reef from coral to coral. Butterfly fish are quite like their namesakes. Just like butterflies, they often have eye-like dots on either side of their back fins. They use these dots to confuse predators as they dart in the opposite direction. There are over 100 different species, thousands within each species. But when they find that special partner, they mate for life. Aww. Isn't that sweet? Okay, so let's make our little fishies. First, you're going to want to gather your supplies. Supplies you're going to need are, of course, the drawing of the fish, crayons, whatever you need to color, a clothespin, some scissors, some glue, and of course, googly eyes. First step is to color. You can color them whatever colors you'd like, of course, but I went with blue and yellow. Once you're all finished coloring, you can add your googly eyes with some glue. You can either add them on now, or you can wait until after you've cut everything out, which might be a little easier for later. Now it's scissor time. Ask an adult for help if you can't handle the scissors yourself, or if you just want help getting around all the little corners. Once you've cut everything out, oh, Alright, so the best trick here when cutting out your little fishies is that because they are symmetrical, meaning that they look exactly the same on either side, they're the same shape and size, you can actually fold them in half straight down the middle, in the middle of that heart. Just make sure that everything's really aligned perfectly. And when you're finished cutting those out, you're actually going to snip straight down the middle, just like we did with that parrotfish and you're going to cut it in half. Separating our little, little buddies. All right, on to the last step. If you did the parrotfish, you already know what this step is. It's just gluing Make it really nice and sticky and then you're going to go ahead and stick on your little fishies so that they are kissing. Don't forget to put the cap back on your glue. And you just want to make sure that you align it carefully to the top edge of the clothespin and the middle part where the cut is. Press them down, you can flip them over and press them against the table a little bit. Give them a few seconds or minutes to dry. And then you've got your little kissing fish, your little kissing butterfly fish. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and return to the Google website for the next project. If I haven't uploaded the next project yet, I'm so sorry. We've been having a lot of technical difficulties but we'll let you know as soon as it is uploaded. All right, thanks guys.